Falls lies this historic Victorian house known as the Cedar Falls Women's Club. Come with me inside and we'll take a tour of this unique Victorian house. This here is called the parlor. This Victorian house was built in 1867 by Joseph T. Knapp. It was built in the Caliente architectural style. The house featured dentils and brackets under the eaves, round-headed windows, and a highly decorated bay window. Mr. Knapp's second wife, Mary Alice Clay, enjoyed entertaining in the house. On October 8, 1892, she was a hostess to a small group of women who organized the Tuesday Club. This is one of the oldest federated clubs still existence in Iowa. The Cedar Falls Women's Club purchased the home in 1929 with the help of an anonymous offer of $20,000 on the condition they raised an additional $10,000, which they did. The donors were later revealed to be Henry and Annie Pfeiffer and Gus and Louise Pfeiffer. Marlou architect Mortimer B. Cleveland was hired to prepare plans for a renovation and the design of an added auditorium. Retained were the original staircase, the rose window, and four fireplaces. Stained glass windows from a bay on the southeast corner were moved to the balcony overlooking the auditorium. Parts of the open porch, which had extended across the front and around the west side were used to construct the enclosed front entrance porch. On September 26, 1929, the clubhouse was dedicated in honor of Emma Pfeiffer Merner, a char member of the club and sister of the club's benefactors. For the past 80 years, the Cedar Falls Women's Club has continuously operated a non-profit food service business for private banquets and receptions, as well as events open to the public. During the Depression, the County Farm Bureau held dances at the clubhouse. Other dances were held at the clubhouse by high schools and college groups. There were also balls held there. During World War II, the Women's Club opened its home on the weekends as USL Center for the Aviation Cadets and Waves stationed at the ISTC. All club work was carried on as well as full cooperation with the National War Services, including the service canteen work at Waterloo Railway Stations. The Women's Club drew many members and activities from the college community. Becoming actively involved in community betterment work, major projects were undertaken, including fundraising to furnish 30 hospital rooms at Sartori Hospital, as well as exposing bad conditions in local slaughterhouses and dairy farms. Since that time, countless projects have occurred under the auspices of the Women's Club, many of which have concerned education in the form of scholarship awards and loan programs for students if the walls could but speak. What tales they would tell of friendships, old and new, of special events in a gracious setting of thousands of meetings. Providing for educational, cultural, and social activity for the people, both men and women of the community of the excitement of those who have performed upon the auditorium stage, and always a concern that the legacy of this wonderful house would be preserved for future generations. Now, let's take a tour upstairs and see the unique rooms up there. In this room is the bridal suite. It is a place where the bride can get ready on her wedding day. And this is a condition where they can get ready. And in this next room right here, 
here is a boardroom where they hold contract scenes. And it can also be used for the groom and the bridal party to get ready on the wedding day. And if you follow me downstairs, you can see the whole auditorium from up here. And then over, and then this is the stage where many events have been held on there. And then in recent years, we have installed a new wood floor and a new carpet. Come with me and I'll show you something downstairs. is called a snuggery and it's a place where people would bring their sweethearts and have their own private time together. here at the Women's Club. Down this hall is the men's and women's restrooms, and this is the back parking lots and the back entrance. And this is the manager's office, which happens to be my mom, Margaret. of the historic Cedar Falls Women's Club. I hope you have enjoyed it, and this is Hannah Ackerman with History Alive.